The Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4 Battle Pass is finally being revealed, and I've got a ton to show you guys. But real quick, if you want the Season 4 Battle Pass for free, I'm still gifting 5 subscribers every single day who drop a like, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment with their epic ID. Big shout out to these viewers, and a very special thank you to everyone putting Doom in their Fortnite item shop right now. It means the world to me. So our first official Season 4 Battle Pass skin is fit stick i actually thought this skin was going to be coming in the summer update but i guess they knew it would be so popular that they decided just to wait to release it in the battle pass it turns out fortnite actually teased this in game two because at the end of the triggerfish snapshot quest he will say we can build them their own little sanctuary i've got a cousin i can call about that so it's pretty safe to say that fit stick is triggerfish's cousin and maybe this this sanctuary he's talking about will be built throughout season four. I also wonder if the new item that was revealed called the rocket ram will be his mythic weapon. This has to be the coolest new item of the season and I can't wait to see how exactly this thing works because I don't think we've had an item like this before so it will be awesome to use something brand new. And as I was making this video Kato Thorn was actually just revealed finally and I feel like he's definitely going to have a second edit style but i'm glad he was finally revealed our next battle pass skin is named avalon we are pretty sure she came to the island with the last reality because she looks like some sort of alien leader that fits the style of their members but i'm not exactly sure how she fits into the whole story her concept art has the same pose as this survey concept skin who has red and black colors that match the red crescent moon theme that Fortnite has been using to tease for season four and this guy doesn't look like any skin we've ever had before so i wonder if he's going to be the main villain of the season it would be cool to have a crazy opponent like galactus again that we look forward to fighting throughout the season next up we have a season four skin that fortnite revealed but i don't think it's actually going to be in the battle pass his name is diamond dealer and although he was in a teaser image it was one of the less significant ones unlike the ones we've seen from the actual battle pass skins i'm pretty sure he's going to replace the high card boss we have roaming around the map right now and he will be the one guarding the brand new radio towers that are going to be added to the map we were already able to spot these radio towers in the last update trailer and data miners have already found them in the files so we know they're supposed to be a boss with npcs patrolling around them the radio towers will each have a vault two and will probably hold some of the new weapons fortnite has revealed there is going to be a deployable turret that comes out of a briefcase called the business turret and this would definitely fit the theme of the diamond dealer boss so i bet either he will drop it or it will be in the vault there's even another item called the heist bag which obviously fits the theme too and some people are guessing that this could be the new form of the tent that we saw in the beginning of chapter three i think a lot of people miss this feature and it does fit like the whole heisted loot theme of the season so it does fit pretty perfectly moving on our next confirmed battle pass skin is kb lane this guy is apparently the most followed person on TikTok, but I've never even heard of him, so I'm not really sure if you guys in the Fortnite community will be hyped for this skin or not. We did see Mr. Beast in the Chapter 4 Season 1 trailer, and he didn't end up being in the Battle Pass, so I guess it is technically possible he won't be in the Battle Pass, but will be coming during the season at some point. Ultimately, I think we all just want a cool-looking skin at the end of the day, so when it's fully revealed, we can make a final judgment now battle pass skin number five was posted by fortnite themselves and the caption is light fingered or perhaps a more elegant weapon first though are you in and well obviously she's kind of hard to see here but we see the crescent moon behind her which has been a main theme but thankfully for us someone has already discovered which survey concept skin this is so here's a better look at her with some color she looks super cool she looks like some sort of cyborg or something and since she's got a sword in her hand i wonder if that will be a weapon in the new season too so in game the final stage of the eclipse can finally be seen and the battle pass skin luna matches this theme perfectly 
She's got a crescent symbol on her forehead, crescent earrings, and a crescent crown. So now I'm wondering if she'll be connected to the new POI that was revealed as well. Maybe she'll end up having a red edit style too, since obviously we've seen a red crescent moon in a lot of teasers. And it's even possible she could be related to Kato Thorn, since he was the one leaving a picture of the red crescent moons everywhere. As far as I know, Kato Thorn himself hasn't been revealed, but the community is guessing it's going to be one of these survey concept skins here. And since he was the first season teaser we got, we were pretty sure he was going to be one of the battle pass skins, but there's been no actual confirmation yet. We do know that our next battle pass skin is going to be some sort of vampire because there is already a leaked boss in the files that is literally codenamed vampire. Unless it turns out to be Dracula, I'm pretty sure that this skin won't be a crossover from another movie or game because there aren't a lot of cool looking vampire characters that would fit in Fortnite in my opinion. If we take a look at the Fortnite survey skin concepts though, there are quite a few skins I could see being this vampire. This guy with the silver hair is the coolest one in my opinion, but I'm kind of leaning towards it being this female character because of the white strip in her hair. She shares the same exact trait with the Ageless, who we also think is a vampire because well for one his name is literally the Ageless, but also he lives in a giant castle just like Dracula. His helmet design looks like a vampire symbol and the vampire drift skin also uses a similar design. I'm curious to hear your guys' theory on this vampire skin, but let's just hope that this year's Fort Nightmares is really good either way. And obviously the best way to make Fort Nightmares this year the best of all time is to have a Five Nights at Freddy's crossover. It would be the perfect year to do it because the movie is releasing around Halloween time and we've had countless Five Nights at Freddy's Easter eggs in chapter four already. We had the Faulty Splits bowling alley with spooky bear murals on the wall. In season two, we had electronic billboards and mega city that looked just like the Five Nights at Freddy's mini maps. And in season three, these rocks statues that look exactly like Springtrap were added. It really would be the perfect buildup for the Fort Nightmares event in season four. And while Five Nights at Freddy's was featured on a Fortnite collaboration survey, so I would say there is a decent possibility it can happen. And guys, it looks like this heist theme is probably bringing a Payday 3 collaboration too because the Payday game Twitter responded to a Fortnite teaser and while well, their brand new game Payday 3 is coming out in September and they actually just released a trailer for their game and basically their whole game is heist themed so it really is the perfect collab for this season and it looks like we've even got a couple more confirmed items as well including something called a Shield Breaker EMP, which obviously looks like some sort of grenade that will throw. And it looks like they've also confirmed the return of the Chimera Ray Gun. And interestingly enough, when you combine all these little teasers all together, it looks like they're starting to fit some sort of puzzle. So it will be interesting to see what exactly this reveals because it's kind of hard to tell so far, but I would assume it's gotta be something pretty important. Next up, since this is the last season of the chapter, it's the last chance for Fortnite to actually act on their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Easter egg at Slappy Shores. You can hear some sounds under the sewers, and while it may be a bit of a stretch, it just seems too perfect considering Fortnite signed a deal with Paramount to bring the turtles to the game. The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie just came out on July 29th too, so now would be the time for them to bring them to the game finally. And guys, of course, we're still expecting Ahsoka Tano to be a battle pass skin too, since her show, I think, literally comes out today. And while she's been in the surveys, she's got that astral map in her show, so there's just a bunch of similarities, so I'm still confident that's going to happen. And it seems to be increasingly more likely that the legend, aka Jonesy, is going to be returning turning to the island as well to help us out with this live event. Whether he'll actually be in the battle pass or not, we're not 100% sure, but we're pretty confident he's coming back. Now guys, I'm not sure how many of you saw the new Iron Man Easter egg at Creaky Compound, but in a recent update, a Stark Industries 
nice folder and a red and white keyboard was added to a random table at that POI. Unless Fortnite is just trolling us, this pretty much confirms Iron Man is coming back to help us in some form. I'm not sure if he'll have the same Iron Man suit we already saw, the version we saw in the comics, or something completely new since there are a ton of different Iron Man suits, but I'm excited to see his return. Another reason I think it's pretty much confirmed is because we got an update on the new Fortnite and Marvel comic series, which is now expected to have a new release in January of 2024. This makes sense because the live event will be happening in November, and while obviously they wouldn't want to show the live event in the comics before it even happens in game. So yeah guys, as soon as we get more updates, I'm gonna make another video, so be on the lookout for that. But if you're hyped for season four, definitely check out this concept trailer. stopping you no one can stop me it's happening right now any last word but nowhere to run